Hey y'all, Darla here with Growing Tropical. Well you guys, it's about nine o'clock at night and I'm over here on the south side of my, of my house and I am getting ready to plan up this window box. Now you guys, it has been a really, really hot and uh, steamy summer and there has been very limited time that I could actually get out here in the yard and do gardening because of the heat. So I have decided that my new thing is going to be getting out here well after the sun goes down and um, using some light to just do a little nocturnal gardening. I really hope that you guys can see this well. This is the, this will be actually my first video that I've done where it's been late in the evening like this. And um, I'm like I said, I'm really hoping that you guys are gonna be able to see what I'm planting up. I think if I'm not mistaken, the coleus that I have in here, which are absolutely beautiful, I think they're sticking out big time in, um, in the camera. When I go around and I took a look um, to make sure that I had the focus and everything right, it looks to me like the coleus are sticking out really beautifully but just um, just to tell you guys a little bit about what I'm gonna put in this window box and this is gonna be the first window box of the fall for me and I love starting over here on the south side of the property this window box probably is one of my favorite and that is huge coming from me for this south side because if for any of those you follow my uh, my videos you guys know that this south side has been just a real aggravation for me but y'all this year or this season this has been a beautiful beautiful this whole south side has been so beautiful and I'm going to be giving you guys a little tour of what it looks like over here everything or pretty much everything has just just blossomed over here I mean absolutely it has just been um, it's been glorious and I am so happy because for several several years I have fought this side over here trying to figure out what does best over here and I think I finally got the key to the mint over here on the south side but again that'll be another video but for tonight we're going to be doing this window box and just to tell you um, a little bit about what's going in this window box I've got some um, lyrope um, um, this is like a grassy uh, grassy textured plant this is um, it'll take full sun or it can take the shade and I love it because I love the strappy you know texture of it um, it grows very beautifully here in our zone 10 South Florida but um, I know that it's um, it's very versatile and I know people up north can grow it and it is it's absolutely beautiful it does not like a lot a lot of water um, it does like to be um, you know watered regularly but it does not in my experience it does not like to be like watered um, like over watered it doesn't like to have wet feet so the Larrope is going to be um, I've got three of them here that I'm going to be putting towards the back of the window box and then I've got, again, now these beautiful coleus. Now, there was no, no name like on these coleus. It just had annuals and coleus. But look at the colors that are in this. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? I love the, the leaf structure. I love the, the margins, the, the chartreuse. It's got a little bit of this really pretty dark burgundy colored leaf. I thought it would pick up the um, uh, jet black uh, what are the uh, ipomea or sweet potato vine that I've got growing here? I thought it would it would just pick that up absolutely beautifully. So anyway, I've got let's see one, two, three, four. I'm going to be putting uh, I think five coleus that are going to be in here. And again, now the sweet potato vine. This is um, if I'm not mistaken, these are. Let me put my glasses on so I can make sure that I'm giving you the right name. These are proven winners, and they are sweet Caroline, sweetheart, jet black absolutely beautiful I, I love this color the chartreuse is actually pretty too but the sweet potato vine which I have two that are right here in the front and now over here on either side on either end these guys were already in here these are in actually in the window box they're planted in and these have been in for um, actually just a season now I, I did it early summer I started um, with these asparagus fern or Actually, they're, they, they, I grew up knowing them as spring or rye fern, but if I'm not mistaken, I think they're also known as like asparagus fern. I love them. I, um, they, they've got a real prickly texture, but they're also really, really soft. And what I did was I just kind of shaped them up into these nicely neat little balls, but they were just like cascading over and they, you know, they grew up. They're absolutely beautiful. They grow either in the sun or I've had them in the shade. They, you know, they are very versatile. And uh, so I went ahead and I left these in for just that really pretty pop of green in this window box. So there you have it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plant up 
this, um, all of these plants. And then what we'll do is I'm gonna bring the camera in a lot closer and tighter so that way you guys can see all the pretty things up close. And like I said, because it's at nighttime like this, I wanna make sure that you guys are able to see, you know, the, the structure and the color and everything. So let me go ahead and get all this planted up and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. Okay, y'all, the window box is complete. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Going from the summer colors right into the fall colors. Let me get up a little bit closer so you can see what I did here. And what I did was um, I tucked in, I didn't show you guys in the beginning of this video, but um, I tucked in as I was planting, I had some really pretty marigolds. And these are, you probably, they look a little yellow in this camera, but these are orange right here. And then these are more yellow over here. And what I did was I just kind of put a pop in and I staggered the color. I went from orange to yellow, orange to yellow. There's another little flower down in here. But I did that all the way down. Let me go down here to the very end. And again, I tucked another one down in here. But I thought it would be really pretty because as they grow, um, these get about, I'd say about 15 inches tall and they'll grow, you know, up. Um, and they'll be just behind the coleus here. These coleus will get, my goodness, I think if I'm not mistaken, these coleus are gonna get to be about 18 inches tall and you know they'll get up into here. And then if these get to be about 15 inches tall, they'll stay a little bit lower. And then of course we've got, you know, the Larrope, um, very strappy and they're in the back of the window box. And then of course I've got more of the coleus. Let me bounce in here a little closer so you guys can see just how pretty those leaves are. But don't they look really pretty up against this um, Ipomoea, the sweet potato vine? I thought they just look so pretty. They picked up the colors so beautifully. But here's one of the, um, the sweet potato vine here in the front and it drapes over so, let me bring it down. You can see how nice it drapes over the front. And then what I thought I would do is I tucked, I wasn't originally going to do this, but I tucked a coleus plant in between these two sweet potato vines just so you could see the pretty color um, the, the, the pretty color contrast or the complement, I should say, um, the chartreuse color here and then this beautiful dark, dark black uh, leaf. Isn't that gorgeous? So there is the window box. Of course, here's my asparagus fern right here and those are on either end. So there the window box is very full and hopefully it will just grow right through the fall months into um, the winter. Again, we are here in South Florida, so, you know, we don't get really anything by the way of frost here. Um, and so um, this window box should take us right through um, hopefully the winter. But you guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Like I said, this was my first video doing like late in the evening like this. And um, I'm hoping this is gonna turn out because if it does, I'm gonna be doing a lot more, you know, in the landscape as well, because it's so much cooler out. But you guys, um, we'll plan on seeing you in the next video. Bye.